What's going on, y'all? It's your man Vic, high son of Columbia. And I'm just sitting here in the line, putting a little deposit in the bank. Always a good thing, right? Deposits are better than withdrawals. So anyway, <laughs> um, we are getting ready to head down. I'm about to go meet my wife. We're about to go head down to um, Hopkins to uh, a couple of our listings. Uh, go ahead and uh, our client has just finished everything up for us to go ahead and uh, finish taking our pictures that we need to take, put the sign in the yard, and the house will be listed tomorrow. Our house in Irmo that we have waiting on um, our client to do some work on it. Um, you know, hopefully we'll have that by the end of the week ready to be listed. And I, I actually like my clients that want to put the work in, put new appliances in there, or do new flooring and things like that. Uh, I, I like a client like that because it shows that they are serious about selling their home. All right, so uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get those listed. Um, just picked my daughter up from daycare, and uh, you know, one thing about having a wife, when both of you guys are agents and both of you have clients um, and things going on, after school care only lasts so long. So. You know, our daughter is our third set of eyes. She's our agent with us. So she's she enjoys it. So we're going to have some fun today with her and uh, get these homes listed. Um, and once I pick my wife up, I'm going to get back on and talk about some things dealing with income when it, when it comes to uh, uh, looking for a home uh, that we've been running into with some clients that are self-employed. I think it's something that you really need to think about um, when it comes to buying a home and you're self-employed. And obviously with the business, a lot of times we are putting in losses that maybe you should not. All right, so I will get back on and talk about it. All right, guys. I almost forgot I have to show a house first. I had a client that... uh wanted to take a look at a house um, and it's actually a really really nice house it is it's in um in Hopkins in Surrey place all right so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the outside of this house look at this one. great deal one of those where they turn the house the garage into a sitting area or another family room all right guys so we are done with my showing now we're headed to uh, the property to put the sign in the yard and finish taking these pictures and real quick before I forget what we were talking about earlier was um, taxes if you are self-employed if you work for yourself file your own taxes I know that you want to put put in there a loss that you are uh, your business took a loss to get the taxes back or you know whatever your reasoning is right I want to tell you why that is not a good idea if you do that when you try to go claim income um, to get a house if you don't already have a home that's not the best thing to do because you're then going to show lack of income if you're showing lack of income you can't get the home so you have to make sure that you're filing taxes if you are wanting to buy a home and you don't already have a home you have to file those taxes the right way you have to show your business uh, doing well or what you can do is you need to give it to CPA, Certified uh, Accountant, and you need to get with that accountant and they can show you how to pay yourself from your business. And what you'll do, you will pay yourself out of your business by um, um, taking in the money for your business and then a certain percentage of it, again, a CPA will tell you that percentage, a certain percentage of that will go towards you as an employee of your own business. All right? So 
think about that guys um, because we have run into that with self-employed uh, people looking to get a home and at, the, and at this point they're not able because they are showing a lack of income all right or at least they're not able to get approved for what they want because of a lack of income if you're self-employed all right now if you have a regular job nine to five and you have a business on the side have at it but if that's your only means of sources of income you don't want to do that okay all right so just a little tip little tidbit from your man Vic the house hunter of Columbia I always like to throw in some little jewels to uh, give you guys some good information you know people online that are looking at it they want to be able to feel like they're in it before they get there you have to make them want to come to the property and get that final that final look so pretty much that's what we're doing this house guys three bedrooms one and a half bath all right, it's in Hickory Ridge, full brick, nice size back, nice size backyard, hardwood. Get the hardwood back. Look at this hardwood. Hardwood throughout, hardwood floors throughout. Um, you got a sitting area or a living room, den area, an eating kitchen, hardwood floors throughout, brand new carpet throughout, newly renovated home. For sixty thousand dollars, sixty yes, you did not hear that wrong. Six zero. If you are looking for a home to live in, or if you're looking for a home to invest in and rent out to someone, give me a call. Now, if you are an investor, this is a perfect place for you to buy this property, and you can get um, vouchers. People that have vouchers, that's guaranteed income, guaranteed pay. You know you're going to get your money every month. You can do vouchers or you can just rent it out on your own. Or you can come find a family member, first time home buyers. This is a great home. $60,000 paying maybe $400 a month as your first time home buyer. Come on now. Buy this house. Pay $400 a month for three to five years. Then rent it out. After you move out, and now you have the equity in the home, you just saved on some money instead of renting for $900 for a two bedroom. Now you got three bedrooms, $400 a month. You just save for three to five years, rent it out, rent it for $750, 800 a month, double your money, let somebody else pay into your equity, and then go buy you another home after that and rent the second one you bought out. Come on, guys. Are you getting the picture here? It's your man Vic. I'm always dropping them jewels and them nuggets. Holla at you. Alright y'all, so after a long day of work with the family, we got the houses listed. I went and checked on some of my other listings while I was down here on this side of town. Uh, got an offer to put in for a HUD home. It's actually going to be a bid. I'm going to be doing that tonight or tomorrow. Uh, and now we're just sitting here at Russia's. Mm -hmm. um, look, I have never, all the years I've been coming to Russia's, I have never tasted a chicken sandwich. I only get the cheeseburger. I only get the cheeseburger too. I don't know what I've been, man. If you have never tried a chicken sandwich at Russia's, I tasted a piece of my wife's, I should have got a chicken sandwich. It's good, baby. Uh huh. I should have got a chicken sandwich. Man, I should have got me a chicken sandwich. And this mustard based barbecue? Where can you go? You can't go to McDonald's and get this mustard-based barbecue. Yeah. All right, everybody on YouTube that's watching me, if you don't know about this mustard-based barbecue. It's, it's, um, it's... Hey, guys, it's your man, Vic, and I'm out. I got to eat with the family, man. If you need help buying a house, selling a house, or investing in real estate or land, I'll let your boy. It's your man, Vic. It's Malia. It's Felicia. It's barbecue, And we're out.